What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's C Dome, your PUBG guide. And today, I've got a question for you. Are you sick and tired of dying in the blue zone because you take forever to loot? Are you tired that your friends are laughing at you because you're the last one to leave that loot box? And can you not stand when you get shot in the back because you're still trying to loot the goddamn clunky system? Well, what if I told you today's video had nothing to do with improving your shooting, but everything to do with improving your looting? You're going to want to check this one out. Okay guys, so today we're going to dive into a very specific feature with the most recent PUBG console update. Uh, if you don't know all the different things with the update, go watch my latest YouTube video, which outlines all those different things that came to console. Uh, but today we're going to be focused on auto equipment of attachments, sights, scopes, and weapon replacements. All right, so first things first, you need to go to your settings, go to gameplay, scroll all the way down, and you'll see where those options are. So auto reloading has been here for a while. I've always recommended you keep that turned on. Uh, auto equip attachments is one of the new ones. So you could have it off or you could have it on. Now, if you have it turned off, your auto equip scopes won't work at all. So if you want sight only or all for scopes, you have to turn on auto equip attachments. Now what auto equip attachments does is whenever you have the attachments on the ground, instead of having to pick them up and put them in your backpack, then put them on your gun, you can automatically put them directly to your weapon. So what auto equip does is it allows you to walk over to the attachments that you want and you can just tap X to pick them up and the game immediately puts them onto your selected gun. So right now the M4 has no attachments on it. I walk up to a whole pile, I just start tapping X and it's gonna immediately put all those attachments that can fit onto that weapon in hand. So now I have the M4 with the four times cannon sight and it's decked out. So that was one way. The other way you can uh, do the attachment is by pulling up the loot menu and tapping X on each one uh, from your loot menu off the ground and directly onto your gun. Now, one concern you may have, which I had as well, is, well, wait a minute. Once my gun is kitted out and I pick up a separate attachment that I want for later on, does it replace my gun's current attached uh, items? And the answer to that is no. So let's say you have a quick draw mag, which is obviously not as beneficial as an extended, and you have a thumb grip, which in my opinion is not as beneficial as a vert grip. If you uh, pick those up from the ground, it will not replace those on your weapon. It'll put them into your backpack. So you press X, press X, and they go to your backpack as normal. Now, the way that's different is if you have a gun that accepts those attachments, so let's say you have uh, whatever, a scar, and you have two guns in your hand, and you do that same se sequence, it's going to look to see if it can fit it into the gun that's in your hand, which is the M4, and it's, it finds out that you have a vert grip, so no, it can't do that. So then it looks at your second gun, which is, in my case, the scar with no attachments, so the attachments will go directly there. Tap X, tap X, and the attachments go right to the scar. Okay, then there's a setting that does auto-equip scopes, and you can have that set to off, where it doesn't pick up anything to put on your gun, everything goes to your inventory, you can have it set to sight only, where it only automatically attaches red dots, holographic sights, and canted sights. Or you can have it set to all, where it attaches all the different scopes that'll fit on that weapon, whether it's a three times, a six times, a four times, etc. Now, I'm going to show it on all here, but I'm going to explain why I'm going to be leaving mine on sight only. So if you have it set to all, and you're doing a, let's say, a hot drop to boot camp, okay? So you just dropped out the plane, you landed first, you see a gun, and the only sight that they have there is a four time scope. Well, let's say you just wanna run up and pick that up for later, but you tap X to pick it up, and now all of a sudden that sight is on your M4, and now you're two feet away from your closest enemy with a four time scope, maybe when you weren't, weren't expecting to have that long distance scope on there. So that can be the one spot where I, I feel like that would uh, be hurtful. So and just in that reason alone, I would recommend keeping uh, the gameplay settings for sites or for scopes on site only. So what happens there in that same scenario, you hot drop boot camp and uh, you see a, you see a site that you want to run by and pick up. You just tap X on that four times and you still have your iron sight equipped to your weapon. And even better than that, let's say there is a, a red dot and a four times next to each other. You can quickly run and just tap X on both 
and it'll only put the uh, red dot on your gun in the four times or anything longer than a holographic or red dot go straight to your inventory. All right, so the last feature that we're gonna talk about today is the auto replace attachments. And this I think is the most beneficial feature they've added in a while to PUBG. And here's why. So this feature allows you to quickly swap between weapons without losing any of your attachments or having to individually reattach them to your new weapon. As long as the new gun that you're picking up can hold the same attachments that your current gun has, they all swap 100% over. And if they don't fit on your current weapon, they go directly to your inventory. Now using this new feature, the time it takes for you to swap your attachments over to your new gun is significantly reduced. And in the midst of a gunfight, that can mean the difference between winning or losing. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of backlash with this feature as there has been in the past few days, but think, think about this. This is a feature that's in the game now. It's kind of like on Call of Duty and Fortnite, how they have auto aim for console. Nobody in their right mind who's going to be a competitive player in that scene is going to leave that feature turned off. They're going to enable it to give them that competitive edge, but also to even the playing field because most of the other people are going to have that same feature turned on. And I mean, in my opinion, that feature alone, yeah, it's going to take away some of the, the skill, I guess you could say, in looting, but honestly, who cares? Nobody ever talks about how good someone is at looting, how fast someone is at looting. What they talk about is how good they are at the game, uh, how good their rotations are, how good their gunplay is. And this feature being turned on is going to allow you to focus more on the important things. And that's winning the game. That's playing better. That's playing smarter. That's uh, focusing on hitting your shots and not spending all of your time in the loot system. So I think bravo to PUBG for bringing that feature on. When I first heard about it, I thought, ah, I don't know how that's going to work out. But after seeing it in action, I'm a big proponent of it. And if you give it a shot, I think you will be too. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this improves your gameplay as I definitely know it'll improve mine. If you guys have any questions about this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments or come see me at my Twitch channel. It's twitch.com slash cdome. I'm live five days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we even do a community night on Fridays where you can get some games in with the community on uh, 10 man customs or four man squads. Look forward to seeing you guys there. Hope you have a great week and thanks for watching. Take care.